Hey everybody, Liberty Whispers here, and uh, today what we're going to be doing is I'm currently working on migrating my current film blog slash website to a different server. Now, I am doing this manually, which is a bit of a pain in the butt, but it's uh, it saves money, and I figured, seeing as I'm doing this, I could make a video out of this. So, there may be just me talking through what I'm doing quite softly. It's going to be a lot of copy and paste. Um, maybe some keyboard sounds. It is currently raining outside a little bit. It's like drizzling, so... Maybe we'll pick up some of that. I don't know. Hopefully, I mean, by its very nature, this is kind of a boring thing to watch. Just somebody basically copying content over from one uh, website to another. But hopefully, it's relaxing in its boringness. I don't know. And I will kind of just talk through uh, some of the stuff that I'm doing, some of the stuff that I'm copying and pasting. Um, before we get started, I just kind of want to want to show off my cool t-shirt. I've had this a while, but I love this t-shirt. And um, I haven't worn it in a while, so I thought I'd put it on today. So you can see we've got two cats, but they are uh, representative of the rappers Killer Mike and LB, who are Run the Jewels, who I love. Um, if you've never heard Run the Jewels, I cannot recommend them enough. They're not relaxing at all, but they are awesome. So, if you like hip-hop, you just like music, just go listen to them. They're brilliant. Anyway, enough about my cat t-shirts. Um, let's get on with it. Okay, so... Um, I was in the middle of of something. So basically, my um, current website is hosted over here on Wix, and I'm wanting to move it over to Squarespace. Now, this is I'm not getting any sort of paid sponsorship from either. Um, and there's nothing wrong with Wix; it's a perfectly good drag and drop website builder. In fact, it's actually really good. But the reason I'm moving is because Squarespace has a few more features that I wanted to use, and I just generally like the, the look of it. The templates are really great, and there's some cool stuff that you can do that you can't necessarily do over on Wix. And again, this is not paid sponsorship you want to build a website, then there are a number of ways you can do it. You could learn coding, for instance, which is a long process, and I don't know how to do that, so I need help. Hence, automatic site builders, well not automatic, because you do have to do a lot of work yourself, but they give you a lot of tools, and again, Either one, Wix or Squarespace is, is good for that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm just basically moving because, as I said, there's a few extra features. And I generally just like the overall aesthetic a little bit more with Squarespace from what I've seen so far. I will give you a little look at the website that I'm moving over. It's a, as I said, it's a film. Um, based website and it's kind of like an, uh, an accumulation of stuff that I've been doing on and off since end of 2015 so if you see me adjusting dates to fit 2015 that's that's why because I'm using older material because I might as well if it's there I might as well include it so, so this is the current day version of the website it looks okay but it could look better. 
and I'm kind of keeping the same template as you'll see. So yeah, like a sliding header of sorts with latest features. I am kind of dipping into doing a little bit of music stuff as well as a possibility. I don't know how much I'm going to do, but it is mainly film-centric stuff. Um, if you're interested in exploring its current incarnation in your own time, I'll put a link in the description box. If not, that's totally fine. But I just thought I have this work to do, and I thought maybe it could maybe work to help me put some people to sleep. I don't know, it is kind of boring, so... Anyway, so what we're doing here is we are finishing up the entry for a review called, for a film called Brooklyn, which came out in 2015, which is very good. As you can see, I gave it a 7.5, which, going on memory, I think that's it's pretty much right. I think 7.5 is a pretty accurate score for it. Um, okay, what we will need to do is go to IMDB a moment to get some more tags. So here we are, Brooklyn from 2015, uh, directed by John Crowley, written by, I'm not even going to attempt that person's name because I will butcher it. I can do that guy's name now, Nick Hornby, who of course wrote uh, High Fidelity. Uh, along with a bunch of other great books and has, as you can see, sort of been dabbling in screenwriting and it stars a whole bunch of people but mainly Saoirse Ronan who I could pretty much watch in anything I think she's got a real charm to her um, and even though I didn't much care for, for Lady Bird I really liked her in it anyway came here for the decks, so let's put them in. Here you can see Sasha's already in there. So is the name of the film. Let's put the year of the film in there as well. And let's do the first of many copy and pastes. <laughs> okay. So, there we go, comments on, because we always encourage feedback. Likewise with this, if you've got ideas, things you'd like to see, or you just want to say, hey, what's up? Then um, feel free to do so. Okay, so... I'm going to set that as published. Here we go, check this. That was November 21st, 2015. So we kind of got to scroll back a little bit to get there. I have been doing uh, review work and blog work consistently since 2015. I did it in periods here and there. But as I said, seeing as it is there, I, I don't really want to lose any material that I've done because otherwise it just kind of feels like a waste of time. So it does take a little while to manually put all of this stuff back in, but I would much rather have it. And go for a little bit of time an effort to make sure it's in there than just um, keep everything current and have very little. Alright, so there we go. And I think that's... Okay, no. That's on the previous post. So... It's not the one we want either. For some reason, it is not wanting to, to load. There we go. 
So, I, you may have noticed this. This is currently, like, something I'm working on. The current site is called Cinema Loco, but considering I've kind of dabbled in a little bit of music stuff recently, I'm thinking of maybe just altering it to Zinima Loco, and it's kind of like magazine scenes from the 90s that you used to get when people used to just do like homemade DIY sort of magazines for their favourite sort of art and culture stuff. So it's a play on it, and Maloko is from Oh God, uh, Clockwork Orange. I don't know. It's not. It's not indefinite. I'm just sort of toying with the idea temporarily. I may keep it just as Cinema Loco. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe you could tell me which one you think sounds better. There's not a great deal of difference, but. You, you may prefer one over the other. I don't know. Alright, so there we go. That's film review for Brooklyn. Done. Um, Alright, so let's go back and let's get the next thing. This is, is pretty much it. I've got quite a few articles to go through. Already done Shallow Grave. Life Force. Uh, I'm not really fussed if I include that or not. I didn't particularly care for the film, so... Um, I'll go with this. Gasper knows love. I didn't actually care for this film either. I mean, I gave this like a four, if I remember rightly. Let's have a look. Yeah, four. Um, but it seems kind of fitting, considering he's... sort of got a lot of buzz around him at the minute from Ken for his new film Climax, which looks kind of insane, in your typical Gaspar Noe fashion. Okay. Okay, don't do a colon, because we haven't done colons for the rest, so let's just keep it consistent with a dash. One of the things that I really like about Squarespace so far is it's just like the blog presentation. Like it's really quite well streamlined in the sense that you can have a lot of control over what goes in. Wix is quite good in the sense that it, it can, for a big part, it is sort of drag and drop. And you don't necessarily get that with Squarespace, it's a bit more rigid in its sort of formatting, but it allows you to do stuff that you may not, well, as far as I know, you can't do uh, in Wix. Okay, I feel like maybe we should... Oh no, that's just gonna... Yeah... Okay, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna copy that part, take that out, and then just insert a separate text section so that we can do what we were trying to do there and not have it affect the rest uh, of them. Heading two is maybe a touch too big. Heading three, maybe a little bit better. Um, you may have noticed that there's a lot of red markings. It's because my grammar, admittedly, is not great. Um, but and again, this is not any sort of paid promotion. But there is a piece of software called Grammarly which is actually really good for this sort of stuff. It gives you um, alternatives and it really sort of helps clean up your grammar and spelling issues. See, so there you go. I missed out a very simple A, but Grammarly's picked that up. So it's not always correct, because that is the name of the film, Enter the Void. 
from entering. But for the most part, it is, it is a really handy tool if you're just a sort of quick fire typer like me and you maybe don't go back and check stuff as much as you should like me then um, it is a very beneficial thing to sort of have installed normally I will be kind of moving through these a little quicker than I am at the minute, but, uh, you know, I, I don't want to rush. It's supposed to be relaxing, right? So, why rush through these things? It is, uh... I wonder, well, it must be about since 2015 since I saw Love. I was not a fan, as my sort of low score of four suggests. There is unfortunately a high number of seagulls in the area, as usual, so hopefully they will kind of keep quiet. Or it won't pick up. Anyway, um, four. I don't know. Maybe it's uh, one of those films which is actually better on second watch. I've had that on a number of occasions, where I haven't particularly uh, just been sort of won over on first viewing of a film. But when I come back to it at some point. It's just either clicked or I've seen something in it that I didn't see first time around. I think the most recent example would be uh, Blade Runner 2049. I sort of had so much anticipation for that film and so much expectation. And even though when I first saw it, I was absolutely floored by the visuals. It was just, I don't know, something about it that just didn't work. I think maybe because it was a lot more expansive than the original, or it kind of took a different turn than I was expecting. But yeah, first time I saw that I was uh, a little underwhelmed, shall we say. But then again, I think it's because, as mentioned, I put too much... Um, anticipation behind it. I'm sure I've just corrected all of these. Let's just go back to IMDB real quick. If um, if you've never seen a Gaspar No film, uh, they can be very hit or miss. I generally really love Enter the Void. I mean, it's just a wonderful film. I think it's crazy and it's like a sensory explosion but I did and still do really like that film Irreversible I can never watch again and Love I don't think I would ever want to I really I just sometimes I think like directors like um, Lars von Trier Yes, but no, it is sometimes erring on the side of being controversial for the sake of it. And I kind of feel like, if, if I remember rightly, that's kind of my feelings coming out of love, was that it was just like, mm, 
kind of just feels like you're doing this for a reaction with a great deal of it. Although having said that, <laughs> I really don't remember much about what happens in the film. Perfect blue, let's go get the review for Tangerine. Okay. Um, if you haven't seen Tangerine, that's a film I would definitely recommend. Uh, directed by a guy called Sean Baker, who did a film last year called The Florida Project which was, was great as well. Uh, I really like Tangerine, I think it's just full of character and just very innovative in the fact that he filmed it all on a number of iPhones with um, specialized lenses attached and he used um, transgender actors who I don't think had done either much or any acting. In fact, he's really quite good at just finding um, people that don't really come from sort of theatrical backgrounds. The The main woman in Florida Project, I think, was found on Instagram. So, yeah, he's he's got a really good eye for visuals and just for talent and he's obviously very good at working with the the cast that he he puts into his his feature films uh yeah tangerine is is great it's just full of sort of vigor and attitude and just character and similarly so is florida project really Okay, so we want to put the score in here. I thought I would have actually given that, I would have thought that would have crossed over into the 8 mark, but uh, evidently not. Oh well. 7.5 is not to be sniffed at, 7.5 is a very good score from me. And again, we've got uh, Grammarly pointing out all of my my flaws. Thanks, Grammarly. In search, actually, yeah, that probably makes more sense in search of answers instead of four. I will just I will go with Grammarly the expertise. Yeah, sometimes it's actually yeah, no, that one's right. I think that's right anyway. Uh, yeah, sometimes I will be kind of astonished at the number of, of just easily avoided mistakes that um, <laughs> apparently just appear. Okay, so we're going to put the title in. Obviously, this is a film review for... Tangerine. Again, stick comments on and under categories it goes to Dominion, under film and film reviews. Now that is a name. Katana Kiki Rodriguez. That is, that is a name and a half. I love it. It's just fun to say and fun to type in. Katana Kiki Rodriguez. And we're going to 
put my tailor in there as well. Both of them are really good in this film. Uh, Rodriguez in particular, just an absolute force of nature. And then of course Sean Baker. And we're going to class this as indie film. And we'll also class it as drama as well. And it was first done on December 1st, 2015. So we'll put that as the date. I've only just seen it, so I don't know how I've forgotten it already, but uh, evidently I did. Alright, so there we go. That is film review for Tangerine. Um, yeah, and, and just in terms of the aesthetics that I was talking about, I just... Oh, I forgot to add some stuff at the bottom. I, I just generally like... It's very, it, it's very clean. I like that. Uh, So, at the bottom, I tend to put um, related posts into whatever it is. So this is a film review, so we are going to set the filter as film reviews. And that should bring up the last three uh, film reviews before that. I don't like doing any more than three because I feel like it's just clogging the page. And, you know, if people have liked what they've they read, then I think three is enough for them to maybe just pick one out of there. They don't want to be infinitely scrolling and scrolling, so. Except for some reason it hasn't come up. There we go. Okay, now let's have a little look at that. Let's extend that to the full page. So yeah, I like how it does this. It takes the thumbnail and stretches it across as a header. I think at some point I'm going to add additional pictures in. But for the time being, I quite like that singular image. And you get the solid body of text. And you've got stuff underneath. I think it's, uh, it's very clean looking. Um, I don't know how it scales for mobile or sort of tablets yet. I'm just kind of concentrating on uh, desktop to begin with. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll have a look at that at some point pretty soon. I think I just want to get the content loaded into it first, um, and then we'll see. Yeah, it's, it's getting there. Gradually, we're getting there. Still a lot to do. Still need to decide if I'm going to change the, t the sort of website name to that. Still need to put some more stuff in, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's kind of what I'm doing at the minute, at certain points. A little bit of time here and there has kind of been dedicated to, to this. But um, before we go, I'll quickly show you the home page, which is generally what it looks like for the time being. So, um, this is going to be more pending on new stuff. This is just sort of a placeholder thing for the minute, but you've got the same sort of header style widescreen image going across and it'll have active links so you'll be able to scroll through or just let it go through on its own and if you like the look of something you just click it and take you to the article underneath you've obviously got your navigation up there which is a bit sparse at the minute because I'm still putting everything in but general layout is kind of like how it is currently because I kind of just I like the layout as a whole I think it works quite nicely. And you can just kind of scroll through 
reviews two at a time under the review section and then features this needs changed because this isn't actually set to just features at the minute it's kind of just encompassing everything but it's it's a work in progress we're getting there slowly but surely we're getting there uh, yeah anyway so that's what one of the things one of the many plates I'm currently spinning but uh, I just thought I would show you guys and make something that is again hopefully the sort of tedium of it will help people relax if nothing else I don't know uh, yeah anyway if you've seen any films recently that you want to recommend then um, feel free in the comments tell me what you've been watching last thing I went to see at the cinemas was Infinity War which I liked quite a lot um, very long uh, I didn't enjoy it as much as I did Black Panther Black Panther I actually really really liked I felt like that was a sort of comic book film with a completely different identity and a sort of unique presence uh, and the soundtrack in it is just incredible um, <laughs> it's a bit of a sad fact I guess but I use the soundtrack for gym work and running just, it's just so driving I love it um, before that uh, A Quiet Place that's what I saw before Infinity War and I like that a lot um, really interesting idea a very simple idea but an interesting one nonetheless and just executed really well uh, yeah, so there you go, films. Films, always with films. I probably at some point will bring back the idea of doing uh, ASMR Film Club as a just complete separate thing from, from the, the, the film website I do. Just kind of, um, yeah, it's basically what it sounds like. I've tried it in the past, but just my inconsistency when it comes to video making kind of just let it fall to bits, but who knows, maybe we'll bring it back. If you've got ideas for a film to start us off with, uh, let me know in the comments as well. Other than that, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you got something out of it. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again pretty soon with something different.